But those are arguably things that you have to amend the Constitution to. So that's a long-term project if we ever see it. Uh, and it would take some aggressive use of authority, which is also an assumption. An unprecedented... It but it's also a, an unprecedented problem. A Tim Wall-style management of government with a slim legislative majority that was willing to follow that lead. And when I say Tim Wall style, I mean, this is exactly what he's done in Minnesota over the last few years as, as governor. They have like a one seat lead in the Minnesota legislature. They barely were able to get control, democratic control of the legislature. And with that, they fed kids. They protected reproductive rights. They've protected union rights. They've helped workers. They've fixed wages. They've done a bunch of other things. So things people were really like. He was reelected. He's a popular governor. Minnesotans like him enough that really very few people are uh, – Add, you know, are, are very strongly against him because the opposition is interests in Minnesota. He also signed uh, the renaming of a highway uh, after Prince. I mean, he is from Minnesota. But he's the kind of guy that would do that, right? Like, you can yeah. see that. It's, yeah. it's in character. Yeah. And so so you, get, you get a federal government with the will to do those things, which the Republicans have shown no compunction to utilize. They've been in power by the barest of majorities, by technical majorities. And they're like, you know what? And Women can't vote that. anymore. Black people can't go to school with white people. Trump's they're, never they're, won the popular vote, and it doesn't seem to bother them. No, it, it's never bothered them. They want they wield power. It's their skill. It's when they get I get it. flashbacks to that famous photo of the guy counting votes in 2001 or 2000. Oh, you mean the... The, the hanging Chad yes, guy? Yes, and the Brooks Brothers riot. I mean, they literally <laughs> did her January 6th My frustration with that was... Um, why are we okay with an election being decided by a state that we don't even live in? Well, our system is fundamentally flawed, to say the but least. But that was like when people my age kind of first started to grapple with this idea of the Electoral College and that a lot of people in power are banking on just convincing the people they need to convince. And, and they don't care about the places that they don't necessarily stand a chance in politically because they don't even need them. So to go back to one of your original questions, what do they do from here is to get the vote out because yeah. you expand the pool of people that you have to convince and none of them are convinced by Trump. Yeah. No one outside of the MAGA circle right now is looking at that guy and saying, you are just apex president material right now. This is what I want for leadership. You know, if you're not, 